So my name is Travis. I am in the military. I'm a lieutenant commander in the United States Coast Guard. And I'm also a writer and a consultant on my own website called fitthinking.com. I'm currently forward deployed to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia for a year. Uh, the, the best job of my career, actually. And I was fortunate to take the art of charm from two weeks before I came in the country. The, the first day was pretty difficult, especially when we, went, we had to have our first video day, day one. Um, but there are a couple of things that I got in the first day that really, really helped me out. The two things are the two key, key keynotes throughout the experience are the, idea, the, are the ideas of having fun and F stuff up. So, right. <laughs> so Johnny, you know, Johnny's value and belief restructuring and value and destruction or uh, belief destruction. I always get those two phrases mixed up. Right. That was by far the best. And, you know, you know, him going through the art of possibility, which I read afterwards, uh, really gets people to change perspective. The idea of how it's so easy to ask a negative question about yourself and you get used to asking that negative question that becomes a reality versus asking a positive question. So if I say, you know, why am I such a bad leader? That may not be the best question because it reinforces negative beliefs versus if I say, why am I the one that my service has looked for to go to the desert to build this organization I get to build from scratch? It changes both the experiences I've had in other countries and it changes how I show up as a leader. The Saturday night at Hemingway's was the most amazing experience ever because we went in and we had our energy, our energy was a little too high and approach anxiety is still kind of big for me. Like approach anxiety, you know, getting over that first hurdle is still something I have to work through, I know that. Um, but there are guys on the team, in our group, the team, mm -hmm. who were, you know, just 100% over approach anxiety and just the way we operated that entire night was incredible. And a lot of people think that our charm they hear is about dating to pick up. It's not about dating to pick up. And I'm saying that I'm not being scripted behind me. Right. It's really about being the most resonant and the most honest and full of yourself in the most positive way possible that you can be. Um, when the door woman compliments you on the style that you have, just by the presence that you have, that starts everything. When you go into, we went to Hemingway's, we posted up on a corner, on a dance corner. <clears throat> You know, Nate met one of the bartender's wives, and they hit it off really well. The bartender and him hit it off really well. We had people that were coming up to us dance with us just because of who we were. Mm -hmm. You know, train shots with serious XM personalities. I, I, everyone went back. I got hungry, so I went to the burger joint next to the apartment, and I crashed a bachelorette party, a six-top bachelorette party by themselves in a corner about 3.30 in the morning. Oh my God. We had the most amazing conversation. It was nothing, there was nothing sexual. There was nothing, there was nothing seedy about it. A couple other guys came over, they, we waved them off. It was just, it was cool. And I mean, it was really, I would not have been that way Monday like I was Saturday night. Yes, I couldn't have walked up to random people on my own. I couldn't have overcome my approach anxiety on my own. I couldn't have figured out for me what it means to be a true friend to the people I know.